I think we both from uh, native Mumbai now. It's I am Mumbai. So like post MBA, right? I joined Flipkart. I interned there. I got a PPO and then I started working with Flipkart. So I was a part of end-to-end -end design team initially. And design team basically work on what, how can we improve the system productivity, right? And uh, from a design point of view, because the e-commerce is evolving over the time, right? And uh, so it's very important that uh, we should focus on the design element of the entire supply chain. And that's how we can define the processes, product across that, right? So I was a part of that. I got that opportunity. I started in a design role. I worked there for one and a half year, focused on like, how can we improve the productivity of the system, right? Because logistics, it's not only like you're moving shipment one to a different destination or another destination or a city, but there are multiple processes across the lag, right? So uh, Flipkart two and a half year of journey, Initially, one and a half year in design, then one year in planning, planning mostly from a supply planning point of view, like how many manpower productivity required on a ground to perform the operations, right? What should be the right uh, volume for a delivery hub? What should be the right design for a delivery hub? So all expects from a design to planning I have covered in 2.5 years journey at Flipkart. Before that, I joined Mahindra Logistics. I joined as a product head. That's basically a business ops role. I was heading their milk run and last mile product, which basically we provide a vehicle to all the big e-commerce players, right? So that was the piece where I've started my third party logistics, uh, like journey, right? For uh, eight to uh, almost nine months, I work in Mahindra logistics. I focused on like, how can we set the, uh, automation in the billing process? How can we grow the business with all the big players, right? So the entire business operations, operations plus sort of a business head role that I have uh, run that in Mahindra Logistics. Post that, uh, after like uh, nine months, I got an opportunity from Shadowfax and that time the company is like a very initial stage. When I joined, they were doing around 70, 80,000 orders per day, right? And I've started my journey from 70, 80,000 orders to 8.5 to 9 lakh like orders per day. It's almost uh, like 10 to 11x growth that I've seen in three years. I trans like, I am like very fortunate to be part of that uh, journey uh, of Shadow Facts, right? Where I've built the processes from a last mile to first mile to reverse everywhere. All products, all processes, all type of operations, supply. Uh, that was a like very a uh, big learning opportunity for me, which I got from Shadowfax after three years of working in all the domains of supply chain operation speaks for e-commerce and hyperlocal supply chain. Currently I'm working with Ecom Express and where I'm a, like uh, heading a head of operations role, right? I'm part of like uh, operations team. And uh, here I've worked on the strategy uh, operations, warehouse sort of warehouse operation, how do we perform on a ground? on the current operation excellence piece, like which all processes, which we, which we can improve and which can directly contribute to the cost, right? So these are the areas where I'm currently working. And this, this that's about my journey from uh, post MBA from Flipkart to Ecom Express. Okay, perfect. So you have already given me so many points, which we will try to cover today because you have already uh, worked in almost all the areas, which we want to yeah. today yeah so broadly the logistics the entire logistics like uh is basically the aggregation and aggre segregation of these shipments into a multiple nodes right okay. and what is that what exactly the aggregation mean is basically you're collecting shipments from a multiple points and you are aggregating those shipments to a one point mm -hmm. for the multiple destinations Okay. Okay. Right. So you are collecting from multiple points. You are aggregating at one location and then sending those shipments to a, for the multiple lo locations. So you have to again segregate at any point of time. Right. Right. So you have taken it, taken it, position, processed it. Then you have to divide it at the pin code level, city level, and segregate it. You have to make bags and collect it for the further destination. Achha. That's what the... Aggregation, segregation, and across the logistics point, if we talk about first mile, if we talk about last mile, if we talk about mid mile, her ek leg pe, we are doing just aggregation and segregation of the shipments. That's it. Or kuch bhi nahi hai. Toh, aapne first mile pe bhi aggregate kiya, seller se utha ke, 
फिर आपने मिड माइल में भेजा वहां पे आपने फिर एग्रीगेट और सेग्रीगेट दोनों एक्सरसाइज की क्योंकि आपने वहां से एग्रीगेट किया था यहाँ पे आपको डेस्टिनेशन पे सेग्रीगेट करना है फिर आपने लास्ट माइल में भेजा लास्ट माइल में भी वो एग्रीगेट होके एक डेस्टिनेशन पे गया बट कस्टमर के लिए आपने फिर से सेग्रीगेट करा और जाके आपने डिलीवर कर दिया ओके तो इसमें पीयूष आपने तीन क्रिटिकल पॉइंट्स अभी बोले मतलब जो वर्ड्स यूज किए एक अबाउट द माइल डिलीवरी इज फर्स्ट सेकंड एंड थर्ड तो इसको थोड़ा बहुत एक्सप्लेन और कर देंगे वो सेम एग्जांपल में सो दैट कि जिस समय इट इज इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड कि सो द एंटायर सप्लाई चेन इन ई-कॉमर्स डिवाइडेड टू थ्री सेक्शन वन इज फर्स्ट माइल वन इज मिड माइल वन इज लास्ट माइल व्हाट इज फर्स्ट माइल first mile is where we do the pick up exercise right we pick up from warehouse or we pick up we pick up from sellers so okay. that's how the first mile piece comes comes in a picture first mile that means we are first time going to pick up that particular shipment post the manifestation or a order receive from any of the clients okay perfect okay okay, okay. and in first mile what we do we pick up the shipment we like aggregate those shipments and we are sending for the uh, mid mile for processing to the destination okay 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 what is mid mile mid mile consist of two things one is your uh, vehicle movement vehicle air surface any movement between the two big sort centers what exactly the sort center so mid mile is basically sort center plus your uh, movement of vehicles plus your mile okay right Got so Got Okay. sort center is basically where you process the shipments for the destination right once you receive a mul- multiple like 50000 shipments you are receiving from delhi sellers right all those 50000 shipments will go to a multiple destinations so you need a one bigger facility where you process those 50000 shipments into a multiple uh, buckets and then you connect those shipments through surface air by any modes for the destination sort center right okay. in destination sort center you receive all those shipments okay for the multiple cities then you process for your city and sending those to a last mile stations okay okay so last mile is basically the last station where you receive the shipment from the mid mile and you for that particular last mile piece is basically covering some uh, sort of area and number of pin codes suppose okay. you uh, like you are staying in uh, lower parel mein reh rahe ho lower parel mein there is a one station for one particular uh, player right who is operating in lower parel and covering 15 to 20 pin codes of lower parel so okay. whatever shipments processed in delhi in mid mile on surface all come to a mumbai ek, as a destination mumbai se fir wo lower parel ke liye connect hoga lower parel mein fir aap kya karoge lower parel mein jitne bhi pin codes hain un pin codes ke liye aap segregate karoge apne rider ko doge aur rider apne customer ke paas jaake deliver kare a touch point and touch point you can say touch point and where the shipment will even stay for a 5 minute or 10 minute you define as a node okay okay so for suppose some shipment come to one point where you do you perform some sort of exercise kuch na kuch kar rahe ho aap uske sath right okay. and then you are processing those shipments to a next destination to wo jo okay. moment hai na jahan pe aapka wo lag aa raha hai even wo 5 minute ka bhi lag aa raha hai ya jo bhi touch point aa raha hai you call mm-hmm. them as a node so that means when i'm placing a order so from mm-hmm. the start till i get that order there will be multiple nodes for obvious nodes, reason multiple touch points yes. so aap aisa ho sakta hai suppose yaar ek example deta hu ki aapko ek shipment bhejna hai delhi se karnataka mein ballari karke jagah hai wahan pe aapko bhejna hai right ab aapka movement kaise hoga suppose delhi se wo कैसे जाएगा दिल्ली क्योंकि देर आर मल्टीपल शिपमेंट वो पूरा एक लाइन हॉल का रूट कवर कर रहा है मैं डायरेक्ट बल्लारी तो भेज नहीं सकता हूँ राइट तो इधर इट शुड मूव टू करोल बाग से उठेगा दिल्ली के शॉर्ट सेंटर में आएगा वहां से प्रोसेस होके वो आपका बैंगलोर शॉर्ट सेंटर जाएगा बैंगलोर में फिर वो क्रॉस ड्रॉक होगा क्रॉस ड्रॉक होके वो बेल्लारी जाएगा 
बेल्लारी के फिर लास्ट माइल स्टेशन पे जाके वो अटेम्प्ट होगा सो देर आर लाइक इट डिपेंड्स की वॉट एग्जेक्टली दर्नी ऑफ शिप जर्नी ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर शिपमेंट देर विल बी मल्टीपल टच पॉइंट विच विल कम सो अभी आपने सप्लाई चेन जो ये ई कॉमर्स वाला साइड है उसका काफी सेक्शन टेक्निकली कवर किया है सो आर देर एनी अदर आस्पेक्ट ऑफ दिस सप्लाई चेन एज वेल विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ द डिलीवरी वर्क और दीज आर दी की पॉइंट टू बी कंसिडर्ड Yeah. Uh, now it depends on the what type of network you are building, right? Whether like see, uh, e-commerce or you can say express. Express okay. is the right term. Under okay. express, there would be a two, three type of supply chain you can consider. One is basically your e-commerce uh, supply chain where you are delivering everything in three to four days or two to three days, right? Then there are multiple product under that that same day delivery, which is right now is trending. Everyone wants. they are like shipments or goods in on a same day right i'm not talking about quick commerce i'll i'll move into that okay. but uh, aapka jo uh, supply chain matlab e-commerce ke under mein aapke do header ho gaye yaar ek same day delivery ho gaya ek next day delivery ho gaya aur ek aapka regular sla ho gaya ki okay. suppose aap metro cities mein mostly we have same day delivery and next day delivery for most of the locations and in tier 1 or like top 20 cities of india everyone is trying to build a next day delivery okay. and they also trying to build a same day delivery they are trying because the cost is also one of the lever when you are deciding same day next day but in top 20 cities people are trying to build mostly same day or next day type of delivery now okay. coming to a quick commerce so aapka express ho gaya express mein e-commerce ho gaya e-commerce ke baad quick ho gaya yaar when like uh, before uh, like you can say four five years ago nobody knows ki yaar char panch saal pehle kisko what people are thinking 10 minute mein delivery hogi yaar mujhe same day milega ek din milega har koi do teen din wale supply chain pe work kar raha tha okay. and that was the thing which is which was happening ke ha kahi kahi pe to 6 se 7 din bhi lagte the and people are happy to get those shipments but how the customer trend is changing it, that is also one of the big piece which is happening in the entire industry now people want everything same day even people want everything on in 10 minutes right so just for giving you an example ki uh, for amazon flipkart jo order karte ho right you get a same day delivery mil jata hai abhi blinkit se aapko 10 minute zepto 10 minute swiggy 10 minute delivery de raha hai right they have started with grocery theek hai ki yaar daily needs grocery ke sath start kar raha hai but slowly they are changing their model they are now they are based on their demand based on their uh, like order trend history like they are trying to build a demand center for the e-commerce product on uh, in line with the grocery segment right up if you go to a blinkit and if you want to order a phone you can order a phone right that's how they are building ki yaar customer ka demand hai mujhe mujhe same day karna hai aur ab wo even we can full in, fulfill in 10 minutes itself right so over the time the time will continuously reduce jo aaj दो से तीन दिन है वो सेम डे पे आ गया है नेक्स्ट डे पे आ गया है नाउ इट विल मूव टू अ टेन मिनट थिंग्स विल चेंज बिकॉज आई नो द द कॉस्ट इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द फैक्टर व्हाइल यू आर डिसाइडिंग ऑल दिस टाइप ऑफ सप्लाई चेन राइट क्योंकि कॉस्ट प्लेज अ वेरी बिग रोल अल्टीमेटली अगर आपका प्रोडक्ट एस पी चार फोर हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज का है इफ यू पे टेन परसेंट और ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ कॉस्ट ऑन सप्लाई चेन राइट यू विल नॉट एबल टू मेक एनी प्रॉफिट फ्रॉम दैट राइट एंड इन अनलेस द मार्जिन वेरी हाई बट इन comes of apparel in comes of clothing the margin is good but not that much that where you can put a 20% of your supply chain cost and then you will make a profit from that right but uh, now the customer trend is also changing right people are understanding yes yaar itna to we have to pay 15 20 rupees or 30 rupees for a 10 minute sort of order or delivery right so that how the supply chain of e-commerce or express logistics is divided into e-commerce quick commerce this all terms are coming up okay okay and hmm. see uh, both the network right under e-commerce the network plays a very big role like how would you define your network because in india if i talk about from a seller ecosystem point of view there are like six to seven location which is basically heavily concentrated from from a seller point of view for the e-commerce segment Okay. apart from the warehousing piece which big players are doing right so from those points to delivering 
3000 plus cities right that's how the network that you have to build that's how the entire system works each and every point and the sla for giving the commitment for those points in 2 to 3 days is again a very big challenge how would they define the network right mm -hmm. so network means your nodes okay. you can say your touch points okay. then the number of touch points as you reduce the number of touch point your sla will increase that's oh. how things okay. will work but if you increase basically reduce not increase sla will increase that means your sla will reduce suppose you are delivering through for five touch point in three days but if you reduce that to three you can deliver into two days but yeah. the implication of those changes is basically the cost which you will be putting Correct. for them right abhi aap ek, ek truck suppose you are using a truck to touch 10 points right but you want and that truck taking a like a 24 or 30 hours time but if you want to reduce the touch points right your time will reduce but the cost will increase because you won't have that much demand correct correct okay no, no now it's making sense also when you were saying that uh, uh when you were explaining the nodes also if anything is stopping for even for five ten minutes so we are defining that as a node and a touch point and how the optimization is critical okay so piyush you just explained uh, uh, the express delivery part or, or the logistics part quick and uh, normal e-commerce part you covered about the optimization also the nodes also how the different set of work uh, how the landscape is changing from the customer point of view so can we further deep dive into nodes and sort centers and all that so that we can further understand this part also yes yes, yes. so marinder uh, definitely so i'll just give you again going back to the basics that i have we have discussed one thing is first mile one thing, one part is basically your mid mile and then your last mile. At mid mile consists of your uh, uh, source sort center, destination sort center, and the between the my line hall. You can say line hall or between the moment of between these two sort centers. Okay. Uh, we'll go to a deep into a, what is a first mile, right? So what exactly the design? Why do we need a first mile? First mile and what type of design usually people have, right? Okay. So suppose uh you have one source sort center. I'm calling source sort center. Ki aapka ek source location hai, jahan se you pick up the shipments. You take all those shipments to that particular sort center. You process those for the uh, next destination, you can say. Right? Mm. Now, the warehouse pick up hota hai, basically, ki jahan pe you need to pick up a bulk shipment. You go to one location and you pick 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 shipments from a node. Right? You okay. call them a warehouse pickup. Okay. Okay. Broadly, this is how the industry term works. Jo 3P, 3P logistics mein hai. Usually, we define how we define this warehouse pickup is basically where you have a good volume, 4,000, 5,000 from a single shipper. Right? Okay. So, we define them as a uh, you uh, a warehouse pickup. Right? The same time, we have a seller pickup. Right? And right now, if you talk about uh everything is moving on marketplace right marketplace where you you have a multiple sellers from where you do the uh, do your business right so for for seller pickup you need points within the city jo aapka jo source sort center hota hai usually a 1 lakh square foot facility usually city ke bahar hoti hai right jahan pe you have your warehouses you have your jitna bhi transportation wala yeah. piece which is out of city right but suppose you need to pick up shipments from seller now you have multiple sellers hai. seller mm -hmm. se shipment pick karna hai. pick karke you have to process those shipments right basically process karne ka matlab hai ki wo shipment pick karke aapko collect karna hai count karna hai reconcile karna hai there are a lot of pieces which moving pieces uh, which happens in that that particular operations right so you need some point where you collect the shipments and then process do a basic processing reconciliation and then move those shipments to source sort center jahan pe aapke paas suppose 3000 to 5000 shipments direct warehouse pickup se aa rahe yahan pe aapke paas aur seller se you are picking up 100 200 300 shipments right aapne sare seller se pick kar liya pick karke you cannot run a vehicle directly from a seller to a source sort center right 50 60 kilometer ka distance hai right so you you need some points within a city where you 
basically aggregate all those shipments and then move those shipments to a source or center, right? That's how you move. So uh, you pick from a multiple sellers. You need a node where you do a basic check. Reconciliation key, suppose you have given a run sheet of 500 shipments to a particular rider, whether he picked up those 500 shipments from that particular seller or not, right? And this is only for one seller, but suppose uh, like understand in India, you have like millions of sellers, right? Which is operating on online platform. So you need to pick up from multiple sellers. So based on that, you have to define a multiple, uh, first mile centers within the city. Right. Who, whose work is basically pick up from any sellers. And that's how the India is like where your uh, e-commerce and your hyper local or your quick commerce is working on. They are trying to enable all type of sellers in the market for the digitalization and for the e-commerce supply chain. So mm -hmm. they, they, they have open like first mile centers, which basically collect the shipments from multiple sellers and then moving to a source or center. Now, the thing is, there are a lot of challenges in terms of pickup, right? So how exactly, so in first mile, I'm going to a multiple pieces, right? What, how exactly the rider performed the operation? What do we need a two wheeler or four wheeler to perform a first mile operation? Yeah, mm -hmm. cyclist bhi kar sakta hai kya? Ya walking sala banda ja sakta hai kya first mile pe, right? So. Uh, the thing is, uh, first mile may you have to collect shipments from multiple sellers, jo jinka location, choti gali mein yaar, koi, kuch area is type se divided hai ki, some, in some areas you can send bikers, in yeah. some area you can send vehicles, ki yaar, you, uh, basically picked up the, the shipments, 10 sellers hai, wo sub line se lage hai, 10 sellers se shipment utha liye, shipment uthane ke baad, you collect all those shipments and then vehicles se move kar diya, aapne, to your uh, pickup center or your sort center depends like what type of digitalization you are trying to make ki oh. aapka process is like when you go to a seller you just scan the shipment and it will reflect you in your sort center hmm. right so directly hmm. aapne shipment utha ke wahan bhej diya or otherwise you you uh, play, uh, pick a pick the shipment from the seller and then aapka jo first mile center hai wahan pe aapne wo sare reconcile kar liye and then in some cases you uh, divide based on the destinations as well, right? So this is all type of tech that people are trying to build, trying to optimize the process in the entire leg. But that's how the first mile operation works. So for seller ecosystem, we need first mile pickup centers within the city to do the operations, to collect the shipments and then connect to the sort centers. Got it. Okay. 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 So... In this, I think uh, you have covered uh, sort centers, uh, the touch point in very detail, even for one leg also. Uh, and I think it will be similar in the mid mile also and last mile also, right? The basic so, operation. Yeah. Uh, basic operation same here. Apne utha ke liya hai, apne process kar liya hai. Then now you come to your uh, source sort center. Why I'm saying source sort center? Because those source you are source se aap jake utha ke likar aare ho, right? So. Mm -hmm. Just define in a system because there are two sort center in the entire leg. One okay. is source where you are processing, one is your destination sort center. Hai. Okay. Now I'll explain what is a sort, sort center. Okay? okay. What exactly the sort center, distribution center, mother hub or like hub, right? Okay. So these are the four terms which uh, industry have, right? People uh, talk about this. Hub. Hub ka size kitna hona chahiye, hub automation hona chahiye, hub mein sorter hona chahiye, hub mein conveyor belt ke through process hona chahiye, ya fir hume manually karna chahiye. Lot of pieces are there. Yeah, okay. Right? And uh, based on your sort center, you define your line hall network. Hmm. Jo aapka movement ho raha hai, hona hai na, from one city to another city, that line hall movement you define based on your sort center. Theek hai? Okay. Ab sort center mein aajate yaar, sort center... As we explained here, first mile ke liye to usne multiple sellers se laake ek point pe consolidate kar diya, fir usne bhej diya, right? Sort center mein ka hota na, you get a input from multiple points. Ek to aapka seller wala, first mile wala piece a gaya, then right. aapka warehouse wala piece a gaya, right? And then aapka koi connection a raha hai, piche se, suppose aap Delhi mein bete ho, ya Delhi mein process kar rahe ho, but aapke koi seller hai jo Ludhiana mein bete hai, Ludhiana se saman aapke, uh, Delhi mein aa hai, right? So you are getting an input from multiple locations, right? right. Ki kuch, 
आपका नियर बाय एरिया 200 300 किलोमीटर की रेंज में जो भी एरिया है वहां से आपका इनपुट आ रहा है प्लस आपका विद इन सिटी आ रहा है प्लस आपका वेयर हाउस आ रहा है सो दैट्स व्हाई वी आर सेइंग हब वेयर यू आर गेटिंग अ इनपुट फ्रॉम मल्टीपल नोड्स हम्म ओके ठीक है ओके अब जो आपका हब एंड सॉर्ट सेंटर में शिपमेंट आ गया राइट सो यू हैव सो सपोज इन अ सिटी यू आर गेटिंग अ 50000 का लोड फ्रॉम अ warehouse you are getting a 50000 ka load 1 lakh and from multiple source you are getting a again 80000 ka load so total 1 lakh 80000 ho gaya just for example ab 1 lakh 80000 ko aapko process karna hai for the multiple destination right, right. so suppose from delhi se main 500 location serve kar raha hu to un locations ke liye mujhe wo shipment ko process karna padega process karna padega to what i'll exactly do i'll do the एग्रीगेशन सेग्रीगेशन सिंपल सा है आपने सबसे उठा के लेकर आ गए आपने उन 500 सिटीज के लिए फिर से एग्रीगेट कर दिया राइट शिपमेंट एग्रीगेट करके उन 500 सिटी के अकॉर्डिंग सेग्रीगेट करा उनका एग्रीगेट करके एक बैग बना दिया वी कॉल देम अ गनी बैग इन दिस इंडस्ट्री जो नॉर्मल आपके बैग्स होते हैं ना उसमें मतलब यू पुट अ 15 टू 20 शिपमेंट्स इन दैट बैग एंड दोस बैग्स मूव इन द लाइन हॉल ओके ओके ठीक है आपने सारी शिपमेंट उठा के गया है प्रोसेस कर दिया दैट्स व्हाई वी कॉल देम अ अ शॉर्ट सेंटर क्योंकि शॉर्ट सेंटर में ये होता है कि यू गेट अ मल्टीपल इनपुट्स बड़ा फैसिलिटी होता है लाइक 1 लाख स्क्वायर फीट का बड़ा फैसिलिटी होता है जहां पे यू प्रोसेस 1 लाख 80 टू 2 लाख शिपमेंट्स एंड दैट दैट्स हाउ द मूवमेंट वर्क्स ओके ओके सो एंड एनीथिंग व्हिच हैपेंस एडिशनल टू दिस इन द लास्ट माइल और इट इज लाइक हां नहीं नहीं तो आपने अभी शॉर्ट सेंटर में प्रोसेस कर लिया अपने डेस्टिनेशन के लिए बैग बना दिए अब आपके बैग बन गए यहाँ पे राइट अब आपके जो बैग्स थे वो बैग बन गए नाउ व्हाट हैपन टू दिस कि अभी बैग का मूवमेंट लाइन हॉल में होना है लाइन हॉल में वी यूज अ ट्रक के यार थर्टी टू फीट थर्टी टू सिंगल एक्सएल मल्टी एक्सएल डिपेंड्स ऑन दॉल्यूम राइट तो अब आपको ये सारे शिपमेंट्स को मूव करना है डेस्टिनेशन पे सपोज राइट अब लाइन हॉल का मूवमेंट होगा अब आपका बैंगलोर जो था सपोज इन बैंगलोर वी हैव अ थर्टी लास्ट माइल स्टेशन आपने दिल्ली में जो शॉर्ट सेंटर में जब आपने बैग्स बनाए फाइव हंड्रेड डेस्टिनेशन के तो आपने थर्टी बैग्स बना दिए बैंगलोर के राइट ठीक है जो बैंगलोर के लास्ट माइल के स्टेशन से उनके लिए है अब आपका जो व्हीकल मूवमेंट है वो ऐसा होगा कि आपका व्हीकल मूवमेंट फ्रॉम डेली टू नागपुर टू सम एक्स लोकेशन टू बैंगलोर मल्टीपल टच पॉइंट होते हुए जाएगा वहाँ ऑन एवरी टच पॉइंट कुछ बैग्स जो होंगे मेरे निकल जाएंगे ट्रक में से फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर डेस्टिनेशन कुछ वापस से ऐड हो जाएंगे क्योंकि उनको भी आगे जाना था राइट सो आपका ये पूरा जर्नी चलेगा आपका फिर डेस्टिनेशन शॉर्ट सेंटर में जाएगा अब डेस्टिनेशन शॉर्ट सेंटर का मतलब है कि यू रिसीव अ थर्टी बैग फ्रॉम डेली फॉर बैंगलोर के मल्टीपल लास्ट माइल स्टेशन ऑन द सेम टाइम यू रिसीव फ्रॉम सूरत थर्टी बैग्स यू रिसीव फ्रॉम कोलकाता सम एक्स नंबर ऑफ बैग्स राइट अब सारे बैग्स वेन यू रिसीव इन दैट पर्टिकुलर शॉर्ट सेंटर जो कि आपको लास्ट माइल सेंटर पर भेजना है बेसिकली यू वॉन्ट टू सेंड ऑल दोज बैग्स टू लास्ट माइल सेंटर देन यू अगेन डू दी सेग्रीगेशन फॉर द लास्ट माइल स्टेशन आप सारे बैग्स कलेक्ट करोगे लास्ट माइल स्टेशन पर भेजोगे लास्ट माइल वाला स्टेशन पर क्या होगा बंदा रिसीव करेगा रिसीव करने के बाद बैग ओपन करेगा वो शिपमेंट लेवल पे रिसीविंग करेगा यहाँ पे आपने शिपमेंट्स को बैग में बना दिया वहां पे शिपमेंट लेवल पे रिसीविंग करेगा शिपमेंट लेवल पे रिसीविंग करने के बाद वो पिन कोड का देखेगा कि यार आपके पास अगर थाउजेंड शिपमेंट्स आए तो अगर वो लास्ट माइल स्टेशन टेन पिन कोड सर्व कर रहा है सम तो इनिशियली मतलब थाउजेंड बैग में से हर एक पिन कोड के हंड्रेड एंड हंड्रेड हंड्रेड शिपमेंट्स है तो उसको फिर से सेग्रीगेट करना पड़ेगा ये टू सेग्रीगेट ईच ऑफ दी शिपमेंट्स एंड देन ही विल डू अ he will assign a rider to deliver those shipments to a customer location hmm. Hmm. okay that's how the flow works so last mile mein run sheet banayega us particular rider ke naam ki ki ha yaar is rider ko 100 shipment leke jana hai then he has to deliver those shipments to a customer so that's how the process flow works okay uh piyush aapne इसको काफी सिंपल करके एक्सप्लेन किया है बट आई नो कि इतना सिंपल होता नहीं होगा ऑपरेशनली मतलब इट्स वेरी चैलेंजिंग वर्क टू डू राइट मतलब यू हैव ट्राइड टू एक्सप्लेन इट सो सिंपली सो दैट एवरीवन कैन अंडरस्टैंड बट इट्स नॉट या या डेफिनेटली मनिंदर सो आई एम जस्ट दिस इज जस्ट अ फ्लो राइट नाउ इफ यू गो इनटू अ ईच एंड एवरी प्रोसेसेस देन अगेन इट्स अ वेरी टीडियस राइट एंड देयर आर लाइक 
how exactly i work if i tell you it's whatever process you are trying to build if mm. you define a process with a certain metric and you drive those metrics that's how you achieve the excellence mm. samajho aapne process define kar diya yaar ki a se b jana hai par a se b jane ko aapko you have to define with certain metrics certain mm. mathematical kuch modeling karke dena hai ki yaar a se b jane ka टाइम कितना होना चाहिए ऐसे भी जाने के कितने नंबर होना चाहिए राइट दैट्स हाउ यू डिफाइन अ मैट्रिक एंड वंस यू स्टार्ट चेजिंग अ मैट्रिक एंड यू आस्क पीपल ऑन अ ग्राउंड कि जो मैट्रिक तूने दिया हुआ है वो तू क्या फॉलो कर रहा है whether you are checking those matrices on a daily basis or not that's how you you define the excellence on the system and trust me in each and every node it's a very big piece the entire e-commerce which is happening right now i know the speed is one thing which people are people are expecting and customer are also obsessed that they want everything as early as possible but be- behind that lot of activity lot of exercise are happening on a daily basis and those activity it is are very critical and very time bound if anything miss suppose i am not able to connect back for bangalore jo main aapko pehla wala example de raha tha if i am not able to connect back Bags for the Bangalore, I'll miss those connection by one day because my mm-hmm. cost of running a truck for from Delhi to Bangalore, right? Its cost is. And if I am not able to connect on the right time, I missed those connection by one day. Right? Its cost is. And if I am not able to connect on the right time, I missed those connection by one day. Right? Its cost is. And if I am not able to connect on the right time, I missed those connection by one day. Right? Its cost is. And if I am not able to connect on the right time, I missed those connection by one day. Right? Its cost is. And if I am not able to connect on the right time, I missed those connection by one day. Right? Its cost is. And if I am not able to connect on the right time, I missed those connection by one day. Right? Its cost is. And if I am not able to connect on the right time, I missed those connection by one day. Right? Its cost is. And if I am not able to connect on the right time, I missed those connection by one day. Right? Its cost is. And if I am not able to connect very thoroughly and uh, it should be a time bomb uh, okay but so in context to the same part what you briefly just said the tds part and the process the excellence part and the kps and everything if you have to briefly cover few challenges which are very common and which are regularly observed in the in this part of the logistics yeah so, yeah so uh, yeah the first mile ka what is a cut off cut off is basically the seller handover cutoff that is one of the challenge uh, because everyone wants ki mera jo shipment hai wo same day nikal jaye uske paas se right ki mujhe seller se pick karna hai seller ne bola hai ki by 5 o'clock i'll hand over those shipments mm-hmm. and based on that i have defined my next connections right ki mujhe right. wo shipment utha ke sort center jana hai sort center mein ja ke fir line hall mein connect karna hai so jo aapka seller cutoff aur seller handover time hai na that is also one of the key metric which everyone wants to drive and okay. the challenge is in that if they like if any rider got delayed while fulfilling that cut off right they will lose the connections for that particular day hmm okay okay so wait wo that is a one piece which is a very important from a first mile pickup point of view okay 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 now coming to sort center right Sort center while you are processing multiple shipments for multiple destination, mm. there there is a chances of error, which can happen like some shipment got misroute for some other destination, mm. right? And if the misroute number will increase, you will lose the shipments. Customer like four five day ka S L A R commitment hai, five days me dena hai, nahi kar paya, misroute ho gaya, ten days me pahunch raha hai. Kaha lega customer? You understood right? Ki He will he will not agree on those cases, right? So misroute is one of the key metric or challenge which people are trying to solve. People are trying to solve through technology. Lot of automation happen in the entire ecosystem, but still there there is error which people are trying to build in the system and they're trying to improve through multiple ways through digitalization through some checks in the processes they're trying to build and solve that, right? then the line haul piece again a time bound ride and depends on the it those are, those solutions are, are tailor made based on the customer demand kisi ke liye air chala rahe hai kisi ke liye surface chal raha hai kisi ke liye rail chal rahi hai right all those modes of transportation people are trying to figure out and solve that right now coming to a last mile last mile is very you can say very fragmented aap samajh lo ki you are serving in 20000 pin codes with 3000 cities and each city you have a multiple uh, last mile stations right which are serving multiple pin codes 20000 pin codes pe serve karna hai aapko and 
while serving you have to ensure ki every customer is getting shipments on time with a right experience right yeah. and the guy who is going to deliver those cases is basically driving your nps yes for yes. for your organization right ki yaar jo mera delivery boy aur the the education the earning potential of that guy is not that big right so it's very important like you set the right processes so that people can follow and can run the operations right for last mile for last mile every order is important for uh, any logistics player right and people are trying to deliver as early as possible right but there are like if you if you are running a uh, operations on 20000 pin code with a very big work ground work force who is doing this activity right right now in the entire ecosystem of logistics in the e-commerce you can say almost 3 lakh people basically delivering your to 1.2 cr shipments hmm. right so it's it's very important that they try the right experience right the right. challenges which come while doing this whether they are attempting genuinely or not right hmm. that is a one of the key आपको नहीं पता ना यार बंदा जा रहा है ग्राउंड पे उसको पता है कि सेलर कस्टमर रेडी है या नहीं है उसका काम है लेके जाना डिलीवर करना सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू हाउ हाउ द वे यू डिफाइन योर पे आउट फॉर देम राइट एंड वन ऑफ दी की थिंग इज रिटर्न टू ओरिजिन इन दी एंटायर इंडस्ट्री दे कॉलेज आर टी ओ के यार मैंने एक शिपमेंट आपको ऑर्डर किया मुझे मैंने लास्ट मोमेंट पे कैंसिल कर दिया मुझे नहीं चाहिए आई हैव टू रिटर्न दैट शिपमेंट अगेन टू दी सेलर in some in, this is on a this is happy flow ki yaar customer ne cancel kar diya but it's it's not possible always this thing happen right so aapka jo uh, rto percentage hai na which is also key experts for all the because platform ke liye bhi bahut badi cheez hai yaar platform ka nps platform ki sell platform kaise earn kar raha hai jab wo customer ko deliver ho raha hai customer consume kar raha hai then only it will give them a revenue right, right. but suppose customer ne reject kar diya aur customer tak pahuncha hi nahi aur somebody else then a fake delivery right which ultimately increase their rto percentage as yeah. well as their their experience right correct so rto percentage is uh, uh, is one of the key indicator of the last mile performance you can say and the platform performance both the pieces platform okay. performance ke liye bhi rto percentage hai ki yaar aapke customer kitna reject kar rahe hai kitna and there are two types of supply chain rto platform level rto प्लेटफॉर्म लेवल आरटीओ है कि मैंने ऑर्डर प्लेस किया मुझे कुछ कहीं सस्ता मिल गया कुछ डिफरेंट प्राइस पे मिल गया मैंने कैंसिल कर दिया इमीडिएटली दैट इज अ प्लेटफॉर्म लेवल आरटीओ बट सप्लाई चेन आरटीओ है कि यार यू यू बेसिकली ब्रिंग दैट शिपमेंट इनटू द सप्लाई चेन बट यू आर नॉट एबल टू डिलीवर टू द कस्टमर और कस्टमर ने रिफ्यूज कर दिया दैट इज द डिफरेंट थिंग दैट इज अगेन अ डिफरेंट थिंग दैट यू रीच आउट टू अ कस्टमर डोरस्टेप एंड देन कस्टमर रिजेक्ट बट बिफोर रीचिंग टू अ कस्टमर यू हैव यू हैव नॉट एबल टू अटेम्प्ट the shipment and ultimately you mark them rto right uh, ek to aapka ho gaya ki how would your experience drive by your last guy who is delivering to a customer then your rto percentage the type of addresses you get from the uh, customer okay address so, quality the okay. funny thing ha uh, address quality funny thing is log likhte yaar pani ki tanki ke paas aa jana call kar dena <laughs> actually people are doing this if you go into a tier 3 tier 4 ये लिखते हैं कि पानी की टंकी के पास आके कॉल कर लेना ओके सो इन दिस टाइप ऑफ एड्रेसेस यू आर यू इवन ट्राइंग टू पुट अ टेक्नोलॉजी बट यू आर नॉट गेटिंग एनीथिंग राइट और एंड व्हाइल यू आर रीचिंग आउट सो बोथ थिंग्स कैन हैपन कि द टाइप ऑफ एड्रेस क्वालिटी यू आर गेटिंग राइट द टाइप ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग टू अ डिलीवरी गाय टू डिलीवर दोस केसेस दोस आर द की एक्सपेक्ट्स व्हिच पीपल ट्राइंग टू सॉल्व ओके ओके सो यू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट एड्रेस क्वालिटी आर टी ओ देन यू ब्रीफली कवर्ड अबाउट रेवेन्यू एंड दन मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज सप्लाई मैन पावर इज दी चैलेंज इन दी एंटायर ई कॉमर्स क्विक कॉमर्स सेगमेंट क्योंकि हाउ मच पे आउट अर राइडर अर्न यूजली फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड इन इंडिया राइट फाइव हंड्रेड डेली के लिए ही हैज टू डिलीवर अ लाइक थर्टी शिपमेंट डिलीवर करना है ट्वेंटी शिपमेंट डिलीवर करना है डिपेंड्स राइट द टाइप ऑफ प्रोडक्ट इज डिलीवरिंग सो यार राइडर वाला जो मतलब सप्लाई पीस इज वेरी की पीस फॉर ऑल दी प्लेयर्स अगर सप्लाई नहीं है यू विल नॉट एबल टू मीट योर रेवेन्यू टारगेट योर परफॉर्मेंस एवरीथिंग ओके 
इंडिया में मैन पावर शॉर्टेज काफी ज्यादा है इस एरिया के लिए या फिर इट्स लाइक like... यार इस एरिया के लिए ये है कि बहुत अभी इफ यू लुक एट जो इकोसिस्टम है ना थ्री लैक राइडर्स का दिस आर मूविंग विद इन दी सिस्टम ओनली पीपल आर ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लोर अ न्यू वेज बट वो निकाल नहीं पा रहे ना अभी वो मतलब या तो एक कंपनी से दूसरी कंपनी में जा रहा है वही राइडर वाला जॉब कर रहा है बट जो न्यू एंट्री है ना विच इज नॉट कमिंग इन टू दिस स्पेस यू लुक एट यू हैव अ डिमांड बट सप्लाई इज अक की चैलेंज फॉर दिस इंडस्ट्री ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर इज देर इज वन कंपनी वो इज लाइक वेरी स्मॉल ओनर इज स्टिल स्मॉल स्केल कंपनी मे बी ए स्टार्टअप और or not a startup now but a business running from last 10 20 years and they want to uh, they are in this business only like the delivery part and uh, mm. um, uh, catering to the final customers so do you think that uh, they should be focusing highly on getting the things digitally uh, managed or they should uh, try to leverage uh, the expertise of a third technology partner and stick to the current basic challenges what you just explained to scale easily uh so so like what they can do if they are not able to increase their revenue they want to improve their current systems and they are in the same space but on a very small scale um not like companies shadow fax uh, or i see yaar uh, if we talk about uh, uh, like uh, what are the challenges in terms of revenue if they are not able to meet right either they are two experts of the this particular logistics operations business one is the demand side which business trying to build right the entire team is focusing how can they get the, the more volume more orders from the pl- platform level players right and the other piece is the operations who is basically performing this activity in delivering those mm-hmm. uh, orders to the customer if anything goes wrong any performance drop any sla drop right broadly a performance drop service level drop you can say is directly impacting the demand as well because okay. if you are not fulfilling the right service level your shippers your customers are not happy you will not get a volume right yeah. so it's very important that your operations at each and every points solve all the challenges which they are they are getting in terms of be the example of address quality be the example of rto percentage right they like be be uh, it a like supply problem right they they should solve on a like fire fighting mode right okay. otherwise what happen you will not able to meet the service level which which this industry demands okay. and this industry demands a very high level of service levels mm-hmm. right so mm-hmm. even a small business digitalization is definitely one piece which everyone tries to do at each and every nodes right jo aap the supply chain is very complex if you use uh, sort of a digitalization you will able to meet all the uh, service level in each and every node and how digitalization help is basically optimizing your time right mm-hmm. giving you a visibility of the yeah. supply chain right and visibility of that supply chain help you to drive better operations better matrices on ground right mm-hmm. so okay. that's how the piece works ki if you have a if you are putting a lot of effort on the digi- digitalization mm-hmm. yes that will give you a, give you a better visibility and mm-hmm. that visibility drives you a better operations on ground and mm-hmm. can drive better service level from that okay perfect so coming to the last section of this discussion today which i ask this question i ask everyone every guest in all yeah. sessions that from your experience you from your personal experience um in this in your industry about which we are talking mm-hmm. if someone wants to join this industry who is a fresher or maybe anyone like me who is not a part of this industry but i still have experience in some pa- other part of supply chain and i want to move to this industry which are the key skills they should possess or they should look forward to so that they can understand the industry better and whatever their targets are they can do accordingly as from your experience like to do well in the yeah. industry so see yeah uh, like uh, what i feel uh, like people should know the basic uh, uh, 
understanding of data, right? How can you do a uh, like or extract some sort of a information from the data that you have, right? The entire e-commerce supply chain works on the uh, uh, digitally and each and every point, so you have a multiple data points, right? Mm -hmm. So people should have like, un, uh, should have a skill to process those data points with some insights, right? Because that's how you can drive the improvements. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if you come into this industry, you want to drive some improvement. So you have to first understand the nitty gritties of data, which you have. Okay. Okay. That's how you can build your perspective on that. Ki haan, ya, hai. Okay. Ye nikal kar raha hai, mujhe dikh raha hai, ki haan, fat raha hai, ya, sahi ho raha hai, improve ho raha hai. This information can help me to drive better results, right? So, should have a data understanding, okay. right? First thing, what I feel. And apart from that, to be very honest, like, it's it's not that difficult. It's just a common sense you are putting on each and every note. To be okay. very honest. Okay. Aisa kuch bhi nahi yaar, ki mujhe koi yeah, well, you need any sort of skill set, right? Okay. Yeah, if you have a basic understanding of data and jo, uh, well, if you go on a ground, you will understand each and every process and then you, you can also come up with some sort of solution that I change this, so I can improve better. You are okay. basically optimizing each and every processes which is happening on a ground and if you can understand those processes while spending time on a ground, you hmm. can execute very well. It's like okay. nothing will stop you. Okay, so problem solving, I'll take it take from this. Ha, problem, problem, problem solving. Yeah, yeah. You can say problem solving skill would be good enough for that. Okay, okay. Because optimization will come with that. And you hmm. mentioned about the on ground knowledge. That means your experience. If you can spend more time on ground. Uh, ha, execution. Yeah. See, I I know uh, from if you talk about the centrally you are sitting out of corporate office you are running a sort of uh, uh, doing a lot of data crunching you understand you make some sort of RCA but if you don't have a ground knowledge right you will not correlate hmm. those type of RCAs with that so it's very important that you should spend uh, all good time on a ground to understand the processes to work on that uh, work on the processes to uh, understand the scenarios which is happening on the ground, day-to-day -day challenges. And mm. then if you come up with those insights on a, uh, those in insights, if you come centrally and you do some sort of analysis, you will definitely understand that yeah, when I was there, I've seen those mm. uh, challenges and that's how it is coming out. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. Piyush. Thank you very much. Yeah. I think um, at least I have a very good understanding about this space after today's discussion and I'm sure whoever will watch the episode, at least they know if they are not getting their orders, what is happening. At least they will show some empathy <laughs> to the supply chain. I have a lot of fight. It's like, <laughs> 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 it's like, 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 it's